Hey, how's everyone doing? Solar Steve from Solar Nation. Coming to you today with a study on the grid tie array. And today's demonstration is going to be uh, an example of what temperature deration does to solar panels. Today it's about 100 degrees right now, Fahrenheit. And we're taking an output reading right now, 3473 watts at 270 volts. Y'all can see that. That is what the AC output of this inverter is right now. And you can see that it's approximately, you now it's going on one o'clock in the afternoon. And this is what the array has done so far today. And I'll just go through it with you as it comes up. 3,483 watts at 267 volts DC. And today we have made 13.48 kilowatt hours. So that's where we're at right now. Now the idea is, is that I am going to go up and do a monthly maintenance and just a little bit of cleaning on the array up here. And I'll demonstrate that with my lovely assistant, Linda. No, you don't get to see Linda. Um, but uh, we're going to demonstrate just kind of how to hose off the panels and just kind of get the dust and bird droppings and what have you off of everything. And while we're at it, I'm going to do a demonstration to show you just how much uh, solar panels are derated by high temperatures. So we will go ahead and proceed with that. All right, here we go. Now, first of all, we are up at the grid tie array. And just to show you this right here, this is why you need to be very careful. Okay, composition single roofs make pretty nasty abrasions. So keep that in mind, folks. Just be careful. Okay, so we're up here at the array, and you can see that you have string one. Okay, 16 panels, 185 watts apiece. Then you have the lower second string, and this is 14 panels at 158 watts each. And I'll be doing a separate video uh, very soon detailing all of the specs of the total grid tie system. Like I said, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon, and here I have a non-contact temperature gauge that is going to tell me what the surface temperature of the panels are, okay? It's a pretty much a known fact that temperature, as it increases, will begin to derate the output power of the panels. In fact, solar panels actually work the best in colder temperatures, and uh, we're going to demonstrate that right now. So, as we come down here to the panel, you can see that we're reading, it's reading more than that, there, there we go, about 155 degrees, 154, 155 degrees, something like that. That's pretty warm. Like I said, ambient air temperature right now is right at around 100 degrees, okay? So, we'll come over here and we'll just see what this, these guys are doing. Now I got the hose under here, it's kind of misting. That's not gonna... Yeah, they all should be right at around 150 degrees. 145. You get the idea. Okay, so now we get into the segment of how you do your, how you do you care for your panels. And what I do, and probably about once a month or so I do this, is I'll just get up here with a hose and I'll just rinse them off. And it just gets the dirt and things. And around where I live, the oak trees really generate a lot of pollen in the springtime and they'll really cover, you know, the panels with, uh, uh, with a lot of uh, oak pollen and dust and, you know, of course that doesn't really help your output at all. So 
what we're going to do. Some people would take a hose and they would take, you're gonna have to move so I can get the hose. The hose is under you. Okay, and then some people would like to maybe take a mild detergent solution, you know, like some soap and water or something. And uh, take a, you know, squeegee and a brush and all that thing. I don't think you have to do that too often. I mean, if you really have, if you're really in an area where you're getting a lot of bird droppings and persistent dirt like that, then yeah, I can see that. But up here, it really, I, I really don't have that much, you know, contamination like that. So really what I'm trying to do, I just did this a couple of weeks ago. <clears throat> so really what I'm trying to do right now is cool the panels off so that I can show you the difference between hot panels and how much power you get out of your array versus cooler panels and how much more power you get out of it. So we're just coming through with the hose. Nice cold hose water. And we're gonna start cooling off the array. Now some people might say, hey, you know, I mean, don't you think that might damage your panels, you know, changing the temperatures so quickly like that? Um, you know, I suppose that could be possible, but um, I'm not really worried about it. So if somebody has some information about that, uh, feel free to let Solar Steve know. Now, I wouldn't put ice water on it, but um, I really don't think this is going to be a real big deal. So we're just going to kind of hose them off. Cool them off. You can hit pause. Okay, we've just got done cooling all the panels off with the hose. Okay, and now we can see we've dropped to approximately 89 degrees. So that translates into about a 60 some odd degree temperature difference. Now we're gonna go, before they get warm again, we're gonna go down and check the output. 